Okay, so if you're doing an uncalibrated measurement, then all you need to do now is adjust the input gain. So, so I have got my mic preamp over here and I can change that, move that up and down until I center this trace around the zero line here. Um, I already have it centered pretty well, so I'm gonna leave it the way it is. If you have a microphone calibrator and you can do a calibrated measurement, we would love it if you would do that. Um, so please check out the next video. It's just a, like a short five minute process to get that done. All right, I've gotten everything sorted out here. So I'm gonna reset this back to infinite averages and capture my loudspeaker. So you probably wanna give it a descriptive name, JBL PRX 615M, and then the distance. So let me go double check the final distance that my microphone ended up at. 3.252, so 3.252 meters. Now, one thing I probably should have mentioned at the beginning is that while I'm looking at 1 48th octave smoothing here, uh, the minimum is 1 24th. So if you wanna switch over to 1 24th octave smoothing while you're doing these measurements, that's okay. But don't go any lower than that and definitely turn that off before you export to a text file, which we'll see in a little bit. Since I already have everything set up, why don't I go ahead and record the impulse response as well. So I'm over here in the impulse response. Let me just double check that the delay is correct. 15.82 impulse response, 15.82, great. So I'll just change my signal generator to pink sweep. I'm gonna turn it down so I don't destroy my ears. Let me just check the signal generator. Yep, it's pretty loud, okay. Um, and I have a bunch of averages set here, and I recommend setting a high number of averages because this could really help get rid of any of the noise and improve your signal noise ratio here. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit play and store this. Good. You wanna make sure to save this. Again, JBL PRX 615M 3 point something. Rename 3.252 meters. There we go.